Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jan Edelmann and I'm heading the Department of Functional Surfaces and Micro Manufacturing here at Fraunhofer IWU. I will guide you in our test facilities to our lab of uh, ablation processes. On the left side, you see our laser ablation equipment for micro manufacturing and functionalization of surfaces by laser ablation. A machine with a relatively large working area, not only for micro manufacturing, but also for larger parts relevant for our technologies. And on the right, you can see our PEM center from PEMTEC, which we use for scientific process research for feasibility studies, for industry, and for the evaluation of machine components. The insect experts might have uh, expected someone else, but Gunnar Meitner has left the institute, and therefore I will introduce Mr. Falco Böttcher to you, who will quickly become our new ECM expert. Hi, my name is Falco Böttcher, and I work in the Micromachining since 2013. The first three years, I worked in the field of laser-based surface functionalization, and after I worked in the field of selective laser melting of micro-metal components as a process development engineer. Since April this year, I'm here at the Fraunhofer IWU, working in a group of micro system manufacturing, and I'm responsible for the post electrochemical mechanical technology, better known as PECM. The components of the system are equal to the classical ECM technology. But then we add an oscillating vertical driving unit and also we add a pulsing unit to create a pulse direct currency. Both of those features enable a tremendous better detail resolution. So there are two types of usage for this technology. On the one hand, there are the hard to machine materials. What's the issue here? Uh, hard to machine materials really struggled are inefficient to machine with conventional manufacturing technology. That's not with this system here. It's way faster and you need no additional heat treatment steps. So that we are really efficient even for hard to machine materials. On the other hand, there are the materials which are force or heat sensitive. For this example, I can tell you this smart material alloys such as nitinol. Uh, so the companies, we do a lot of effort to do like a preconditioning of those materials. But when you think of our final product, we want to keep those characteristics of this preconditioning as equal as possible. So this technology here offers us a cold and contact-free manufacturing. We use this machine for very different research projects. Uh, currently, we are focusing especially into the medical applications. Uh, the first project I want to introduce to you is the Smart MSM project, which ended in April this year. The general task was the form giving process of nitinol base material, which are used as actor elements lately. There are different tasks in this project. The first task was the separation of rods into several pieces. The second task was to homogenize the length of different sticks to a certain limit. You will find further information in the presentation as well as in the paper of Jörg Schneider and Tom Petzold. The second project which I want to introduce to you is called ABIN, which is running until August 2021. Uh, the field of application are patients with osteoporosis, raised struggle by a constantly evolving bone fragility. The people are treated by installing particular screws into their spinal column, which brings them stability while their movement. So the innovation we want to introduce is that we put actual elements into the particular screw, which are able to spread out. And by this, we enlarge the surface area, which, which gives a better stability into the bones. This solution is promising because we are able to reduce the total amount of surgery. The results of this, we will assume to present at the next year's insect in shape of a paper or a presentation. And now back to my colleague, Dr. Edelmann again.
Furthermore, you could see here the fixture from the title slide of the insect colloquium. This fixture is used in the project resource efficient production of directly coupled twin screw extruder elements through precise electrochemical ablation. I hope we could give you a small insight in our research work and it will be available during the experts discussion.